Hi, I'm Caleb from Semitext, and today we're going to get introduced to Semitext Cloud. Semitext Cloud is the UI for all of Semitext tools. Think of it like a workbench where you can access all of your monitoring tools. These tools include logging, infrastructure, synthetic monitoring, real user monitoring, and all of them get access to alerts. When you create an account in Semitex, the very first thing you're going to be asked to do is to create an app. Now what's that? Well, an app within Semitex Cloud is just a tag of sorts. We use it to help organize your data on our end. Depending on what tool you need and what you need to monitor will determine what kind of app you need to make. Apps help keep things neat and organized. Now, you'll be prompted to make a new app if you don't already have one, or you can click here at any time to create a new app. Clicking on the Apps tab will take you to where all of your apps are created, and once again, you can always click this button in the top right corner to create a new app. On this Apps page, you can customize how each app functions. You can rename it, change some of the settings, and find the tokens, which we will need later on. You can also connect or link apps together. Linking apps together lets Semitex know that you want this data to be related to each other. Linking also lets you receive more informed alerts when an alert is triggered. For example, when you receive an alert that part of your infrastructure failed, you can also receive in the very same email the logs from a connected app. From the apps page, you can also check the status of each app. You can suspend an app or delete an app or simply transfer the ownership of that app to another Semitex user. Now, what's really cool about these Semitex apps is that it gives you granular control over your tools. You can set resources and pricing limits for each of your individual app and in giving you full control. Unlike traditional pricing models, Semitex will charge you based on each individual app usage instead of an account-wide plan. This makes pricing fully customizable to suit your needs for all of your products. You'll only pay for what you use, and you can literally end up saving thousands of dollars a year. Now, let's talk about the type of apps and the tools behind them. Semitex offers monitoring solutions for a full technology stack. So to simplify things, we broke these down into four separate tools, essentially two tools for the back end and two for the front end. Semitex infrastructure to monitor your software architecture, Semitex logs to centralize searching and filtering all of your logs, Semitex experience, a real user monitoring tool for your website, and Semitex synthetics, a synthetic monitoring tool for website and APIs. Having all these tools on one platform means they work in unison and can be accessed from a single UI. Each app also has full access to our state-of-the-art alerting system. Speaking of alerts, let's dive into it a little bit. We created presets of alerts for each of our integrations, but you can also set custom alerts for any of the apps or metrics that you create. You can also set your own parameters for when an alert ought to be triggered or you can simply use our smart anomaly detecting alerts. It's up to you. And you can customize who should be notified for which alert, when they should be alerted, and set priority levels for each of the types of alerts. Within the alerts tab, you can see all of your alerts, active or deactivated, and customize them however you see fit. You can see alert metrics on this page and see which alerts are being set off and how often. Now, let's get started with our tools. First up, infrastructure and logging. Whenever you create an app for Semitex infrastructure monitoring or Semitex logging tools, which are our tool backend tools, you will need to install the Semitex agent. The Semitex agent is a small containerized agent you install on your host machine along with a provided token that links that agent back to your Semitex account. It's a super easy process to set up, and whenever you're creating an app, Semitex Cloud will just walk you through the whole process. Just copy, paste, run, and shazam. It's done. Once installed, Semitex Agent will automatically discover your infrastructure or logs and begin shipping those metrics to the Semitex Cloud. Now that we have the Semitex Agent installed, you can see your infrastructure metrics in the Infrastructure tab and your logs in the Log tab. You can quickly compare the two apps using the split screen button, or you can come down to the Dashboard tabs and create your own dashboard. Within dashboards, you can mix data from multiple apps with interactive charts, graphs, counters, reports, or you name it. And whenever you want to add a new node to your cluster or just install the Semitex agent on a new device, we have a dedicated discovery tab where you can download the agent and link it to an existing app. Super easy way to centralize your logs and monitor your distributed systems infrastructure. 
That's a super basic overview of infrastructure and logging. Both Semitext infrastructure and Semitext logs requires an agent installation. However, our two front-end solutions, Semitext Synthetics and Semitext Experience, do not require an agent installation. So let's jump right into our real user monitoring tool, Semitext Experience. Now we're going to come on down here to the Experience tab, make an app for Experience, name it whatever you want, and all that good stuff. Then notice this script. When setting up Experience, a small script needs to be added to the header portion of your website. This script is extremely lightweight and super easy to install. Simply copy and paste, like all real developers do, and deploy. Done. Semitex Experience is now collecting data related to your user's journey throughout your website. With this tool, you can see how real users are interacting with your website. You can also see important data like what pages took too long to load, what resources were slowing down that page, when were they slow, what kind of device were the people using, what country were they from, all of that useful information helpfully displayed within one convenient dashboard. Experience works on both single-page React websites and traditional multi-page websites. Now, let's jump into Synthetics. Symmetex Synthetics allows you to monitor all of your web app's performance metrics through scripts that simulate the path of an end user. Sometimes users' journeys are slow because either they themselves are slow, their devices are slow, or any other number of variables. With Symmetex Synthetics, you can remove all those variables and test your site's performance as is. To do this, go to the Symmetex Synthetics tab, create a synthetic app, name it whatever you want, and create a new monitor. Here, you have to make a choice. You can create a monitor for a single HTTP request, generally used for API testing or for a single resource, or run a full-fledged browser monitor that mimics an end user. I'm going to go with a browser monitor this time, and we're going to want to give it a name, preferably one that describes what it does. This name is different from an app name. This is a monitor within the synthetic app. Do not confuse the two. Now we're going to want to make a script that tells Semitech Synthetic what to do and how often it needs to run. If you're looking for some inspiration, we have some example text down here in the bottom right hand corner. I highly recommend using your RUM tool to find out what most of your users are doing on your site and then create a script that mimics that action. Like if you're running an e-commerce store, make a script that puts an item in a cart and starts the checkout process. This will mimic the path an end user takes on your site. Define a few more parameters for your synthetic runs, pass or fail, and you're done. Your site's performance without any human error can now be tested. You can test it from all around the world and make sure that your clients are getting good access or you can test it on your own private network. With Symmetech Synthetics, you can also monitor your site's SSL certificate validity and create a status page for the public or for your team to know when your systems are down. And that about does it for this super high level video of Symmetech Cloud. Hope it helps you get started. There is a free trial down below, so get in there and mess around with it a bit. Each of these tools have way more features than we covered in this single video. So check out our playlist to learn more about a specific subject. Like and subscribe, and until next time, Keep monitoring everybody.